A 45-year-old man was hiking in a rural region when he was bitten on his leg by a snake. He describes the snake as having a stout body, triangular head, and a pattern of three rows of diamond-shaped dark spots on a lighter background. Shortly after the bite, he experiences severe pain, swelling and bruising around the wound, followed by systemic symptoms, including dizziness, hematuria, and difficulty clotting blood. The patient is stabilized and brought to the emergency department for treatment. Which of the following is not an appropriate get the bolence right treatment? Consideration for this patient's snake bite. Option A. Indian polyvalent anti-snake venom should be administered. Option B. The snake is oviparous. Option C. The venom primarily causes hemotoxic effects. Option D. Neostigmine has no role in managing this envenomation. Explanation. The snake described in the scenario is a Russell's viper, which is responsible for a significant number of snake bite envenomations in South Asia. These snakes are viviparous, giving birth to live young, not oviparous, egg laying. Hence option B is the incorrect statement and the correct answer to the question. Russell's viper bites result in hemotoxicity, causing blood coagulation disorders, local tissue damage, and systemic bleeding. Early administration of Indian polyvalent anti-snake venom is critical for managing envenomation by Russell's vipers, as it neutralizes the venom. Neostigmine, a cholinesterase inhibitor, is used in managing neurotoxic bites, such as those from cobras or crates. Since Russell's viper venom is hemotoxic, not neurotoxic, neostigmine does not have a role in treatment.